the cooperation with Singapore is about creating this digital representation of the city in 3D so that we can 3D experience the city itself to evaluate solutions, understand how it works, and understand how it can be improved. Singapore faces a lot of urban challenges. The researchers are trying to address some challenges through modeling and simulation. And what we're going to do is to have a unified 3D models of Singapore. That's why we started the program Virtual Singapore. It aims to synergize all the 3D efforts from various agencies of the government onto a common platform so that all public agencies can make use of a common 3D digital city model of Singapore. It's the most significant project in the world to demonstrate the power of the 3D experience platform and the 3D experience city strategy. It's like many programs that we did in the past with industry, but it's multi-industry. When we learn about the 3D experience platform, we have a gut feel that it has capabilities to allow us to build a virtual Singapore. So if you look at the product innovation platform and taking that into a city-wide context, the power of the platform comes from actually bringing together different types of information, different types of data. 3D Experience City can improve the life and the quality of life and planning in Singapore significantly because it creates unique data referential. And furthermore, it um, offers a design environment, an authoring environment in which you can simulate if, when scenarios within it. Once you have data and you tag them into a 3D map, um, that allows us to visualise some of this data and spot patterns, smart trends that can actually help us, especially in Housing and Development Board. This will further improve the way that we plan and design our towns and estates. Singapore is a city-state and uh, there's very little room that actually we can experiment with our plans. Virtual Singapore eliminates the necessity of trying these plans out in the actual physical environment, which we have very little space. Today, the world is fueled by massive amount of data. And moving forward, we will also take in dynamic, real-time information like IoT devices. We developed the National Science Experiment to capture the urban environmental data and allow our students to gain insights from the data collected. We can stream the data into Virtual Singapore and have it represented in the virtual world. We're measuring temperature, pressure, humidity, light, noise levels, infrared temperature, as well as motion and counting steps. So it's really useful as an analyst to look at the data in 3D because we end up having broad questions which we can then drill down and see the details using such a platform as a virtual Singapore platform. We have seen an, a large amount of interest from other cities across the globe as to what is actually going on here in Singapore. We're trying here with this project in particular to harmonize product, life and nature in order to arrive not only at a, let's say, smart city, but more importantly perhaps as a more sustainable, smarter living in the city. I enjoy the frank and openness with Dasso Systems, not only with the R&D team, but with the management at large. Dasso Systems' forward-looking and planning framework gels well with Singapore. The Dasso Systems has a long story of partnership from the last 30 years with many companies. But this one is with the government. This one is really to share a vision for the city for the next 50 years. This virtual world of a city is going to be a first in the world, but it's also going to be game changer to think about the city of the future, and that's what we are doing together with Singapore.